Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you a maths problem that I have conceived and I'll walk you through my path to almost solving it. I haven't quite solved this yet, so if you can help me at home and you can uh, put pencil and paper, I'd be greatly appreciative. The question is about circles. Now these circles are overlapping. Here, section A, B, and C. The area of A and C is clearly bigger than the middle overlapping area. In this situation here, the overlapping area is bigger than each of the sideways individual uh, areas. And this third situation, I'm trying to achieve a situation where these three areas, A, B, and C, are all the same. Now, the way I want to measure it is the distance between the centers of these circles. So this distance here is what I want you to calculate. Assuming that the circle has a radius of one unit. So if the radius is one, what is the distance from here to there? Now feel free to pause the video and try and solve this yourself. And I'll reveal to you the answer in just a moment. Welcome back. Now, for some of you, you might already know that this is clearly an integration problem. Solving. So assume this point here on the axis is minus one. And this here, I'm going to choose an arbitrary point which is going to be the center of the second circle. Now the displacement from the center of the axis to the center of the second circle, I'm going to call C. And this distance right in the middle is going to be half of C. Now this area, the overlapping area, of half of the top half of the shape if you, clearly is 3 eighths of pi. How I got that, I'll leave this, this solution as an exercise for the viewer. You're welcome to um, prove why that is the case. But if the integration from the boundaries of, to find the area under the shape, if the integration from negative 1 through to half of C of the um, this shape being the integration of the equation of the circle, which in this case would be the square root of x squared minus 1 dx. So if you solve this integration problem from the boundaries minus 1 to half of c, and you put this into a computer and solve for c, that will give you the distance between the centers of the circles so that the intersecting area and the two outside areas are the same. Now, what is the answer to this, you might wonder? Feel free to pause the video and solve it again for yourself. I'll wait for you to pause it so I don't ruin it for you. We're back. Excellent. The answer is 0 0.8. Now, I didn't know how to use the program which solved this uh, integration problem, which I don't think can be solved analytically. So I got a numerical solution from a friend of mine, and he told me the answer is about 0 0.8. Now I said to him, can I have some more decimal places, perhaps 0 0.826 or whatever, and he said, He's it's already deleted the, the code and he can't be bothered doing it again. So if anybody out there can solve this problem of how much these circles need to be separated so that all the areas of the three sections are the same, more accurate than 0 0.8, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for Maths with Mark. I'll see you next time.
What is going on? No!